was, you know, one first it was separated. Uh, my father, you know, when, when I guess pops, I'm probably remarried and he did remarry someone else. My mother, you know, unfortunately was uh, brain damaged, so she was, you know, physically disabled and was un unable to care for me. So that, that's when they found uh, this, what do you call it, children's shelter, shelter, uh, which is, you know, located in East Harlem here on 4th Street, 5th Avenue. I lived there for a number of years and went on to live at a place called Jenner's Hall in Brooklyn for a couple of years. And then when they developed group home living, I was part of the group home program. And after a while I decided, you know, I wanted to, that was enough for me. Then I decided to go out on my own. Uh, I'm living at my own apartment, me and a roommate, a friend. That didn't work out after the first couple of years because I didn't know what the heck I was doing. Then I moved back with him, with his family, for a couple of years. Then I moved back out to this house, this housing development called um, Associated Blind Housing that was the, built by the Sellers Manors on 23rd Street. Stayed there for a couple of years, and it was everything was accessible for the blind and the physically uh, challenged. That was good, but the one thing was I didn't particularly care for that was all disabled people in the whole building. I'm more of an outgoing person. I like being around with everybody. I like the integration. I like the mix. So I left there in about, I met, I met my wife. I got married. I was married. I met my wife. You know, we, got, we lived there until uh, 1983. Then I moved to Parchester. And I, I haven't looked back since. Parchester's neighborhood is very diverse. It's, you know, everybody is included. I went to Lavelle School for the Blind. That was my high school. That was my late elementary, grammar school, and high school. Great place. Great place. Everything I, you know, I got, I learned, and I like, I like that I know now came from there. That's the first thing. Uh, those nuns, Sister Ferretta, Sister Audrey, Sister Rosamo, Sister, all of them, teachers, late teachers, Jack Lyon, they was they were responsible for my success me to here today. College, Lehman College, second, uh, my second the counselors, the SEEK program, they are very, I'm very happy to have been a part of SEEK. They are very responsible for me being here. Uh, I, I got my Bachelor's of Science there as a therapeutic recreation teacher, where it gave me the expertise to work with youngsters, adolescents, and adults of all disabilities. Uh, from there, I went to New York University, NYU, where I re obtained my master's in physical education and adaptive sports, where it was a continuum, where it allowed me to just continue to work with people with developmental, physically, uh, vision, uh, what, uh, uh, able body, uh, whatever their condition was, it helped me, gave me more of expertise to design and develop programs for their needs. Um, then I um, embarked on coming, uh, getting a job in the Department of Education. Um, I can thank this guy named Rufus Brown, who I guess long retired, who hired me. Irv Bader, who uh, took me on as one of his teachers. and you know, gave me the chance to be here today, gave me the opportunity. Uh, the staff in this school, the administration, you know, they all uh, make my, my job very comfortable in my life very much, I mean, it's, I'm, I'm very complete now that I'm here, good staff, good people, to make it, you know, where I wanna, I love to come to work every day. I try to get here, I get here 6.20 every morning. 6.20, it's my class, school will start to 8.30. I'm here at 6.20, because this is where I want to be, you know? So I took advantage of all the opportunities that I, that I got, and I and, and turned, made it something positive and good for me and, to and, and the environment that I work in. East Harlem, I grew up in this community too, on the 117th Street, way back when, where 
every pothole, every pole got a hold of me. So, if you look at me, I walked to everything, you know? So, I mean, a lot of these children who who were 30 years old, 32, had me as a teacher, see me today, still talk to, talk to me. People, um, and I, it was not easy, I feel, I mean, I, I'm, I'm a disciplinarian. I believe in structure. I, I refuse to allow children to run, to come in here and tell what they're gonna do. Parents too. I'm the physical education team. My job is to educate your child, educate you as to what they're supposed to do. Not to, you know, not to take orders and tell me that, oh, I don't want my child to play. <laughs> and that's not the way it works in here with me. Now, if your child got a medical, doctor's medical excuse, where it limits this child from doing certain things, fine. I would design a program for that child to do something. You're not gonna come here and sit and do nothing unless you come unprepared for gym. Back in when I was coming up, uh, being blind was almost like, people thought it was like having a, having a fever. Having a uh, I'm on the, having a disease, um, you know. Back then, it was like, you know, nothing was prepared, nothing was accessible for people who were blind. Um, so you basically had to do everything by memory, by feel, and had to, you know, depend on the able-bodied population to help you. Um, you know, I ran into a lot of tough situations, you know, back then, but, you know, that was because people didn't know anything. People weren't educated, you know. Um, it's a shame to say that about the United States of America, uh, in a place that's supposed to be so, uh, with, with, with a democracy and everything else, but just imagine being blind was very difficult and challenging for them to even deal with. So, everything was, Basically, where I had to, you know, adapt. I had basically had to adapt to, to, to the to the visual society, as well. as remember that I don't have vision. That I had to, you know, also be able, to, you know, overcome my obstacles. And um, it took a while. It wasn't easy. But I, you know, fortunately, I had a lot of good people around me. That was very helpful. You know, good good education. I had a lot of decent friends who were very helpful. Family, you know, uh, back then was, you know, so very helpful. Uh, friends. And, you know, they, uh, we, we made it, we, and myself, I had to get people to understand that I'm a part of, I'm, I'm human, I'm a human being, and I'm a part of this society. I'm not going nowhere real, real fast. So, you know, I'm here to stay. I'm here to tell the, uh, how you say it? The man up above called me. <laughs> so, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to make it. But it took a lot of determination on my power, a lot of willpower, a lot of slaps in the faces, you know, and the, not, you know, physically, you know, a lot of slap, a lot of people let me down. And I had to just keep picking myself up. And if I didn't pick myself up and gave up, we wouldn't be talking today. I wouldn't be here. Because, you know, for me to be responsible for um, children uh, in, this, in this school, we were working in the Department of Education, it was a hell of a challenge to get in here. So for me to be here and to excel and to work here with these children and for, so that here these children respect me and look up to me. <laughs> but let me tell you something. I, uh, I wasn't traded for nothing in the world. Yes, it was tough. No, it wasn't easy. Some days are still not easy. But you know what? I'm having fun. It's my show now. And for the people um, we, we like me or not, I can, never, I can care less. Because I know what I can do, what I'm capable of doing, and I know where I want to take these children. My goal is to see these children succeed in this program, physical education to understand that their bodies uh, is their castle, is their temple, is their million dollar machine, and that what you put in it, 
is what you're going to get out of it. What you do with it is what it's going to give you. That's what it's all about with me. So, yes, you know, you know, we, I, I, I'm very rejuvenated now. But, yes, there was times that I wanted to, uh, and I ain't going to say there were times that I had to tell people what, what to do. You know what I'm saying? I've, I got my bachelor's of science there as a therapeutic recreation teacher, where it gave me the expertise to work with youngsters, adolescents, and adults of all disabilities. Uh, from there, I went to New York University, NYU, where I res obtained my master's in physical education and adaptive sports, where it was a continuum, where it allowed me to just continue to work with people with developmental, physically, uh, vision, uh, what, uh, uh, able body, uh, whatever their condition was, it helped me, gave me more of expertise to design and develop programs for their needs. Um, then I um, embarked on coming, uh, getting a job in the Department of Education. Um, I can thank this guy named Rufus Brown, who I was long retired, who hired me. Irv Bader, who uh, took me on as one of his teachers and you know, gave me the chance to be here today, gave me the opportunity. Uh, the staff in this school, the uh, administration, you know, they uh, make my, my job very comfortable and my life very much, I mean, it's, I'm, I'm very complete now that I'm here, good staff, good people, to make it, you know, where I want to, I love to come to work every day. I try to get here, I get here 6.20 every morning. 6.20, it's my class, school don't start to 8.30, I'm here at 6.20, because this is where I want to be, you know? So I took advantage of all the opportunities that I, that I got, and I and, and turn, made it something positive and good for me, and, the and, and the environment that I work in. East Harlem, I grew up in this community too, on the 117th Street, way back when, when every pothole, every pole got a hold of me. So, if you know what I mean, I walked through everything, you know? So, I mean, a lot of these children who who 30 years old, 32, had me as a teacher, see me today, still talks, talk to me. Thank you.